Hey kids, this is Sko, and I am here with <laughs> an ominous sounding vanilla swirl CTM May 2016X hard version. Yes, indeed. And last episode, we got the loots from there. So we finished the green beacon. Uh, I spent a little time off camera. I just grabbed whatever iron and coal were around and got uh, my ender chest sorted, my inventory sorted. Left some garbage. And now it is time to escape. Escape from the green beacon. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. We lit most of the way up. I do hear some silverfish, but I think they may be, like, behind the walls here, so I'm gonna hope that they are. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, the dungeon and maybe the difference between the Green Beacon dungeon in this, uh, hard version and in the March version. Um, actually, I thought in the March version that the Green Beacon dungeon was was the most difficult, uh, the most difficult one, and it's the one I had the most trouble with, and I think it's because it's a hard dungeon, uh, and you're not quite, uh, as geared up as you probably should be, um, when you tackle it. Let's take this. Um, at least that was my experience, because I wasn't, you know, you're, it's early in the map, you're not quite sure what to expect, uh, from the good doctor, um, so... I thought it was the hardest one, and maybe that was just a product of my, uh, of my being under-equipped. Uh, this particular version, I thought, was pretty well done in comparison. This stretch was quite difficult, but I'm not sure that that's Brian's fault. I think that's just how the cave was generated. Um, I did like how, uh, if you notice, the local difficulty is cranked up super high, uh, which meant that all the mobs had armor and enchanted gear and all sorts of horrible things uh, to kill you with. Um, I felt like there were more uh, dungeons. Was there a dungeon? This, was this one of the dungeons this way? No, but there's a creeper. Hi! Um... I felt like there were more dungeons, uh, attached to the, you know, like little, uh, spawner, green cobblestone type dungeons, um, attached to the main dungeon than there was in the May version, or in the easy version. Uh, and actually that worked out pretty well, um, because... I was able to re-gear and actually upgrade my items kind of on the fly, which I really did appreciate. Uh, so that was really nice. Um, so I don't know if that was, you know, a product of just dumb, stupid luck, or if it was, uh, ooh, what's this way? Just a lava flow. All right. Um... Or if that's actually something that uh, was planned. Am I lost? I shouldn't be lost. There we go. Nope, not this way, that way. Um, so that was nice. I did appreciate that, even if that was just... That was not intended. The other thing... You know, I'm not entirely... There's a... Is there a dungeon that way? I don't know, maybe. Um... Well, let's get this gold, anyhow. Here was one of the dungeons. All right. Well, let me check to see if there's any loot that I left behind. Any loots? Yes, a little bit of loots. Uh, silk touch I have. Efficiency will take. You know what? I'll take that anyway. Oh, but I've run out of junk. Uh, that I don't need. All right. Yeah, projectile protection and punch. Projectile protection on my pants did not turn out as well as I had hoped. Uh, you know what? This I can get here and just get the levels out of it. I don't know what I would even do with this, but I do know what I would do with the levels, and I would appreciate them. 
Um, what can I throw away? Oh, that's what I can do. Perfect. All right, what's down there? I don't know. I don't care. Um. Oh, the other thing that was different is that I don't recall, but um, I feel like in the original version. Oh, don't do that. Don't dig down. Come on. There's lava right there, and you know it. Uh -huh. In the original version of the map, the green dungeon did not have any... Um... Let's go down here at all. Anything good? No. Uh, well, let's just see. No. Nope. Uh, the green version of the... The green beacon dungeon in the original version did not have a victory uh, block in it. And I think that it was better to have one in, uh, just because it was difficult. Um, there was some loot that was uh, good to have. I don't remember what it was. Uh, you know, you just your normal green beacon loot. Did I already get 64? Wow. Um, let's just take these then. Switch to this. I'm just trying to alternate my picks um, to use them up, mostly. I do want to get more coal, because it's always good to have coal. Uh, yeah, so I think it's a better design choice to have a hard dungeon actually give you a victory monument block as opposed to just uh, random loot. So I think that was a good uh, good design choice. What, oh, this was, it must have been a dead end. Alright, so how do I get out this way? Uh, yes. Nice. Alright. Uh, and I don't think there's any more stuff happening, is there? No, but I will collect uh, these and that. And how do I get out of here? By going up. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing, is that I'm not entirely convinced that the, um, the thunder makes this more difficult. It does make it louder, but I'm not sure it makes it more difficult. Uh, so... Yeah. There may be a there may be a situation where the thunder and lightning actually when we're outside it does I felt like it really added to the scariness of the situation and I think that shows at the end of what was it episode 3 when I first fall down here. Um and speaking of episode 3, episode 3 sco uh decided not to leave a way up. So now episode six go has to do pillar up. I do not appreciate that. Thanks for nothing, episode three go. All right. Now there's lots of monsters out here because it's nighttime and oh hi, and it's raining. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do I get? back. Oh, no, oh, I go this way. There's my torch. Oop. I did leave a trail of breadcrumbs, but then I remember I ran out of torches. So, we'll just follow them back. It should not be uh, too much of a problem. You I want to kill, though, because I am out of... Oh! Yeah. Let's get out of here. What is that? Oh, that looks like an, uh, a roof dungeon. Oh, a horse! Horses! I did not expect there to be wildlife. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, oh, but that's the way I need to go. All right, let's just... Oh, Enderman. Just lighting up on my way as I go around. Uh, mostly just to keep track of where I've been. I know the map should do that, but I've been holding it. Uh, it's also good because there are sometimes secrets. Oh, that. Like, uh, that looks suspicious. I'm not going to be able to get out there, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, horses. Okay, so I didn't think that there would be any wildlife, so I wonder if... Um, if 
they can spawn on Podzol. That would be interesting. Right, anyway. Okay, I've eaten up. Uh, let's see if we can find any secrets. There's no sense in just... Oh, hello. There we go. So where was it? Oh, maybe it wasn't here. Alright, I guess I missed the secrets. Alright, well, I'll keep my eyes peeled. It does... I guess the rain does make it harder to see secrets. Makes it harder to see in general. It probably lowers my frame rate, too. But I'm not really going to worry about that right now. Oh, hi! Tall grass hides the zombies pretty well. Alright, I don't see... There's a skeleton over there. Is he fine? I don't think he saw me. Creepers over that way. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Hi. He's looking right at me. Oh, and he saw me. Let's see. Can I get him to... Ha! Well, that was pretty cool. Oh, didn't quite get it up enough. Okay. That was nice. Alright, good. Got all those guys. You, I'm not that worried about. Above ground creepers are not quite as dangerous. Okay. Oh, hello. What are you? Just a regular spider? Yeah, I think so. Looks small for some reason. Oh. All right, anyway. So light the way. Is that a... No, that's just a regular skeleton. Looked like a spider jockey. Oh, and I am, of course, running out of food. You go away. Not interested. All right. Yeah, I probably... You know, you do get rewarded for exploring in this map. So I probably should go a little bit of a different way back. Oh, gosh. All right, got him. Keep your head on a swivel. Uh, so yeah, I probably should be going a little bit of a different way back. Maybe I'll go over here. Oh, hello. Oh man, baby zombies in tall grass. The worst. Uh, pretty bad for your sword durability, too. Alright, anyway. Let's get some of his delicious experience. Alright, what do we have over here? More monsters. Nothing too bad. Probably, oh, there's there's the spawn area, so let's, let's go up here, see if we can find any secrets up this mountain. Looking down. Nope. How do we get up? There we go. It's way up. Okay. Right, you can go off the mountain. Uh-oh. Okay, baby zombie. So fast. Oh gosh. That guy came out of nowhere. And I lost my I lost my sword. All right, so much for that sword. Was not paying attention. My own fault. Alright, so, R.I.P. Knockback Sword. That was a big mistake. Alright. 
But what I can do now, when I'm up top, is I can... Let's see, anything good? It's like a little... Hmm. I don't see any chests, which is what I'm really looking for. Don't look at the Enderman. Hi. Alright, I don't have that anymore. Yeah, it's harder to switch to your sword when you don't have a sword. Yeah. Well, that should do. Alright, let's go up here. And we should be relatively safe as long as there's no monsters up there already. You still don't have a sword, Sko. Where's your sword? Who needs a sword? Alright. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, I'm not seeing any secret chests from up here. There's some pumpkins. This is not Minecraft bingo, I do not need pumpkins. Okay, what do we have over there? Is that something under that, uh, is that a chest under that tree, I wonder? Well, it's probably worth checking out. Let's put an actual sword there. Oh yeah, I could have fixed my sword, huh? And I got no boots either, so this is pretty much an exercise. Yeah, I see you. Ow. Man, we cannot hit each other, huh? There we go. Yeah, let's not get, uh... Let's not get killed by our own... Alright, so I think it was under there. There's lots of bad guys between here and there, though. Lots of bad guys between here and there. So maybe I can go this way. Oh, uh, well, yeah, there's a different color wood under that tree. So I'm going to assume that that has got some sort of loot in it that I should pay attention to. Unfortunately, I've got a lot of people paying attention to me right now. Yeah. Found the loots. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back. Cannot handle all the bad dudes right now. Oh, hello. This is me not being able to handle all the bad dudes. Alright. Okay! Yeah, that's right. Oh no, 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 no! I forgot. They don't burn. Should work. There we go. All right. Let's do a real quick. Let's kill this guy. And let's see. Can we get some of the mob drops? Hmm. I'm not seeing any of our friends, the skeleton bones, which is unfortunate. But let's go back here and real, real quick, check out the loots. Probably a spider behind me. Is there? No. All right, loots! Power two! Don't need it. Birch wood! Don't need it. That I do need. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Birch wood. I got plenty of wood. I don't know what I do with nuggets. That I do need also. So let's replace the crafting bench. And we'll take the anvils. And that still has stuff in it, so we'll leave it. Okay. So we got that secret loot. And now let's head back. Oh, hi. Yeah. I understand you all, everybody wants a piece of this, but I'm going to turn the lights on for a second. Alright, here we go. Lights are on. Where's that skeleton? Those uh, zombies and skeletons can all... Oh, goodness. Alright, so are you guys going to leave any... Residue. Alright, they don't seem to be dropping a lot of arrows, which is unfortunate for me, because I need arrows. Alright, around here somewhere was the, uh... The banners, right? The alphabet banners? It was over the other side of this hill? Come on, eat the food. Yeah, this is where I went down, so it must have been this way. Yeah. I need the blocks on the bar. I don't need that on the bar right now. Alright. Oh, there's a creeper disguised as a cactus. Okay, I think they were this way. Yeah, there's the chests. Oh, speaking of which... Another one of those. Punch one I don't need. Black stained glass again, which is, I guess, okay. Let's take the bread. Trade. Okay, I'll come back for the bread. Got infinite bread. Uh, back at the base. Alright, uh, get the emerald, get the ender pearl, get the anvil. These I have a ton of, I believe. And, you know, I'm going to trade the jungle wood for the oak wood because there's more of that. These are all of the banners. I don't need them right now, but maybe later I'll transfer them all back to the base. Because I was dumb and put the chest down. Notice that I did not do that with the loot chest from the green beacon loot. Alright. There's home base. Headed right into the sunrise. Rise? I think so. Here's the home sweet home, stairwell sweet stairwell. Alright. Alright, here we are. Uh, let's do this first. We've got two black stained glass. What happens if I put both of them in at once? Let's find out. Hey, we found it! Four out of sixteen different colored bonus blocks. Great! Put this in here. Great. Let's put this in here. Great. Let's put. Oh, we did have a lot of silk touches, huh? Let's put these in here. Great. And that too. And a bunch of these. Great. And. Alright, is everybody ready? Oh, is that a bad guy? No, that's just cactus. I noticed my farm did not grow while we were out. That's too bad. But, what do we have? Let's put down our monument block and stone brick. Ready? Hey, we did it! One out of three objective blocks. And just... There we go. Very nice. Nice and sparkly objective block. Alright, so what happened? We lost our sword. That was a bad mistake. Our armor is looking pretty tough. Uh, in pretty bad shapes, particularly the iron chest plate. Um, do we have any iron in here? We do have another iron axe. At least we can fix our 
Bane of Arthropod Sword, but let's see what we have in our beacon loot. Ready? Experience bottles! Yay! Diamond sword! Perfect. Perfect. Good. So I don't have to worry about having lost my other sword. Loot finding kit. Very nice. More iron, more gold, more bread. Bunch, uh, ooh, bunch of good books. Protection 3, very nice. And a bunch more dungeon loot. So this was something that was interesting about the, um, the last May, the March version of the map, is that you ended up with all these loot, since the loot chests all nest, you ended up with basically more loot than you could ever possibly use. Uh, which is fine with me, actually. <laughs> I am, I am fine with all the loot. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I think we've got a pretty good uh, spot where we can take a break. We've got our one victory monument here. We've got our four bonus monuments. We've got all sorts of loot that I need to uh, sort through. And once I've sort through that, I think we'll, uh, you know, it's going to take me some long, boring inventory management mini game. Uh, to do that, we basically have only explored up to, like, here. Uh, so there's a whole great big wide world to explore. I think maybe what we'll do next time is we'll take a boat out. See what, see what the ocean looks like. The ocean should be, I think... Is it, is it this direction? South. Which way is south? South is... No, that direction. So it's straight that way. Oh yeah, there's the ocean right there. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll take a boat out. We'll see. I haven't done a lot of boating in 1.9. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Let's uh, let's do this. Here we go. And in fact, let's. You want to see my beautiful face? So thank you for watching. I've got lots of loot. I've got lots of things to inventory manage. And once I have done that, I will see you guys in Episode 7. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.